In this video, we will learn how to draw structures of compounds that have Z or E configuration. Let's go ahead and get started. Here, our name is Z2-bromo-2-pentene. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I will start with my parent chain. Pent means I have five carbons. So I'm going to draw five carbons. One, two, three, four, five, and number them. Numbering in organic chemistry is so, so useful. Two, in, in means I have a double bond. Two means I have a double bond on starting from carbon number two. So it must be between two and three. And I also have bromine, two bromo. I have bromine on carbon number two as well. Next, this molecule must be Z. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to see if I have drawn Z or E configuration. If it is Z, I'll leave it alone. And if it is E, I will just switch my groups. So what I need to do to determine this is I need to identify my double bond, which is here. And I will look at each carbon from the double bond separately. Let's start with carbon number two. So forget, you can close with your hand the second part of this molecule. Forget the right part and let's just focus on the left. Carbon number two is attached to bromine and carbon. So we go atom by atom and we will circle the atom that has the highest atomic number according to the periodic table. If we have two of the same atoms, we will keep on going until we find a difference. Here though, we have a difference right away. We have a bromine and a carbon. Who is bigger? Bromine. Bromine has a higher atomic number. I circle it. Next, I go to carbon number three. I'm going to forget everything to the left of it, and I'm just going to focus on things that are attached to carbon number three that, that is not carbon two. So carbon three is attached to carbon four. Notice that it has only three bonds. That means one bond is missing because every neutral carbon wants to have four bonds, and that bond is hydrogen. In bond angle structures, hydrogens are not shown on carbons, so you will have to draw it out yourself. Here it is. And by the way, when you draw it out, when you have a carbon with a double bond, the angle should be 120. So now that we have drawn it out, we go ahead and we ask ourselves, we go atom by atom to find the difference. I have carbon, carbon, and a hydrogen. Who is bigger? Carbon. Next, now that I have identified the two groups, I have circled the two groups, I ask myself, are they on the same side of the double bond or opposite side of double bond? And for this, I'm going to do this line through the double bond so it is clear. So these two groups are indeed on the same side of the double bond. If the groups are on the same side of a double bond, this is called Z. And the way I remember it, I remember same, same. It rhymes, right? So actually, in this case, this molecule that I have drawn is already a Z molecule. I do not need to switch anything, and I will keep it as is. Let's go to the next molecule, 3Z6E136 octatriene. So again, I start with my parent, octa means I have eight carbons. So I'm going to draw eight carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then I have tri, which means three, in means a double bond, and where are my double bonds? So I have three double bonds. They're in carbon 1, 3, and 6. So starting from 1, then starting from 3, and then starting from 6. Now, carbon, this double bond is not capable of easy because it's attached to two hydrogens on the side. So we wouldn't be able to circle one of them. And that's why I only have easy configuration for carbon for the double bond on the third carbon and the sixth carbon. So let's get started and let's see what each double bond configuration is in my drawing. We will start with the double bond three, four, and we will look at carbon number three. What two things is it attached to? It's attached to carbon number two, but again, notice it has three bonds, which means hydrogen is missing. I'm going to show the hydrogen. Next, who is bigger, carbon or hydrogen? Carbon, I circle it. Next, on carbon number four, I have 
carbon and again hydrogen is missing who is bigger carbon now are these two on the same side of the double bond or are they on opposite side of the double bond so these two are on opposite side of the double bond which means it is e not z so that means i will have to switch it let me just write it here for now and let's go ahead and check six to see if i need to switch six as well and then we will continue so for six i have um, um maybe i should redraw my molecule it's okay let's let's just go ahead and do it for six seven i have carbon here and a carbon here that makes the double bond for six seven and again hydrogens are missing i'm missing one hydrogen here one hydrogen here again i ask myself myself between hydrogen and carbon who is bigger carbon is bigger and here again car hydrogen versus carbon carbon is bigger these are on opposite side of this double bond which means this configuration is e and i want the 3z 6e so that means i need to only switch the double bond that is on the third and fourth carbon so the way i will do it easily there are multiple ways to do it actually but um since i only have to switch one double bond what i'm going to do is i will redraw this whole molecule but i will change the two attachments on carbon number three and instead of hydrogen going down and this group going up i will make hydrogen go up and this group go down and that will switch my a configuration from e to z so let's go ahead and let's say that this is my carbon number three and this is four three and four actually i did not give myself enough space let me give myself even more space so again i hope i will have enough space this is my three and this is my four and for carbon number three we said instead of hydrogen going down i will now put it up and then i'm going to bring this group down so this group is carbon that's carbon two and then we have carbon one and there is a double bond between them and then i will just proceed with the rest of it so carb so i have hydrogen here on carbon four then carbon five then carbon six i'm drawing it small so i can fit everything in then i have carbon seven and carbon eight so now my two groups are on the same side and now this double bond is z and this double bond is still e this is my allergy let me know if you found this video helpful and what you're working in your organic chemistry class right now on